Hi, thanks for tuning in to this unboxing and review of the Dash Cycles Stage Cycling Saddle. <clears throat> I'm going to cover a few topics to, in today's video. First one I'm going to talk about um, is the delivery time, um, what came in the box once it arrived, the cosmetics um, of the saddle itself. I'm going to, we're going to weigh it and we're going to compare the weight to a couple different um, saddles that I have here. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about the policies that I encountered when I went through the uh, purchasing process um, of the saddle. Now, um, just to be clear, the stage saddle that I ordered is the basic stage. They have a stage dot nine that weighs a little bit less than this one, and the way that it's manufactured is a little bit different than how this is manufactured. Also, um, this saddle comes in three widths a narrow, a standard, and a wide. I ordered the standard width. Now, from the time that I placed the order until the time that it arrived at my house was approximately two and a half weeks. Uh, three days, about three days before I received the saddle, I received an email from Dash Cycles telling me uh, that the item had shipped and they also provided me with a tracking number. This is the box that the saddle shipped in. When it arrived at my house, it was a little bit crushed in on one side. So I was a little bit worried that maybe the saddle was damaged, but it wasn't. The saddle was contained inside of this bubble wrap bag. That's all that was inside of the box. There was no packing slip or anything else like that. <clears throat> when I took the saddle out of the bag, um, it did have this tag on it that says uh, five to six Newton meters. It's just a warning. Um, that so you don't um, over tighten um, these carbon rails. These carbon rails happen to be uh, seven millimeter round carbon rails, which is your standard rail size. A lot of carbon or some saddles that have carbon rails use ovalized rails. These are not oval; these are just standard round rails. <clears throat> um, okay, the cosmetics. Uh, well, first of all, just overall, I think this is an awesome looking saddle. But I was uh, mildly disappointed when I received it that um, there was some very minor cosmetic um, defects that I thought were different than, than the numerous photographs that I had seen online. Um, the first thing, and I'm sure this isn't going to be able to show up in the video, but the first thing that I noticed was that there was a little bit of pitting on this uh, piece of carbon in the back. Um, they look like little pinholes where perhaps the uh, epoxy uh, did not you know, fill in all the way. The other thing is on the nose of the saddle, you'll notice that the leather from each side um, come, meets in the middle. On all the photographs that I had seen, um, it, the leather didn't come all the way to the middle. There, it left a little strip of um, black carbon um, coming down the middle. And so I was a little surprised because again, I ordered the standard width, not the narrow width. So I was kind of expecting a, a black uh, strip right there. The other thing that I noticed immediately when I took it out of the package is that it was really oily. Not the leather, the leather was normal. But um, all the carbon down here was covered with a uh, kind of like an oily substance and it was a little bit black. So I would handle this a little bit and I would, I would touch the leather up here and it was, it was getting it all dirty. So I had to um, really clean the rails and the rest of the carbon really well. If you take a look, a closer look at some of the, um, how the carbon rails are attached, um, you'll see that it's not, it's not totally uniform. I mean, you can tell it's kind of um, done, by, done by hand. Um, but, I mean, that's, that's okay. Um, it's going to be different on the stages, on the stage dot nine, because the rails um, are not attached after... Uh, the, I think the rails are laid up at the same time as the as the uh, carbon on the seat, whereas the basic stage, the rails are applied later in the manufacturing process. <clears throat> uh, okay, so the weight. I think the the basic stage weight um, is published at 135 grams on their website, and this one comes in at 134 grams. So we're right on target. The stage dot nine. Um, is somewhere in the 95 gram um, region. Now, just so you, uh, we can compare, this um, Adamo 
Prologue, which um, has been my favorite saddle for uh, probably three years now, it comes in at 337 grams. And this Prologo Nago saddle, which looks awesome but isn't very comfortable, comes in at 241 grams. So there's a huge weight difference between these. <clears throat> now I did, um, I did ride this saddle for about an hour today on the trainer. That's all the time that I've spent on it. And my initial impressions are, is that this saddle is totally awesome. Um, as I said before, um, this had been my favorite saddle uh, because of the split nose design. It's really comfortable, um, both upright and in an arrow position. And I spent probably half the time today in the arrow position and half the time sitting up on this saddle on my tri bike. And uh, I felt like it was just as comfortable. Now, probably the, one of the biggest differences that I noticed is that this padding, um, and by the way, this saddle shipped with four layers of padding. You can get it with fewer layers of padding. Um, is still um, not nearly as much padding as the Adamo um, saddle. It's more comparable to this Nago, Prologo Nago saddle, but even this one is softer than, than this. I don't think that's gonna be a problem, <clears throat> but I thought I would point it out for you. The other thing I noticed is that with my Adamo um, Prologue, um, I had it on my bike uh, as forward as it, as it can go, and I was not able to get this saddle quite as forward as uh, the Prologue, but even though I couldn't get it as far forward, I still felt that it was um, just as comfortable and, and worked just as well in the position that I was able to get it. The last thing I want to talk about is the policies that I encountered um, when attempting to uh, order this. Um, prior to me ordering the saddle, Dash cycled, Cycles had a very generous trial policy that involved paying a small deposit and being able to try different saddles for a certain amounts of time before you commit to actually putting out the money uh, to, uh, to purchase one. <clears throat> Apparently they don't have those policies anymore. I corresponded with Dash Cycles maybe um, on five or six emails going back and forth trying to figure out a way where I could actually try out one of these before I committed to buying them. And um, what it came down to was they were not willing to do anything for me. Um, they didn't even let me purchase one outright sit on it for five minutes and make sure it's in pristine condition and send it back to them. Um, there was no, no compromise for them. So I actually had to just buy one outright um, at my own risk and if it didn't work out, I'd have to uh, sell it on eBay or something like that. So I was really disappointed with their policies. I think it's gonna, uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit detrimental to their business. In fact, if they had the generous policies, I was prepared to order um, multiple saddles because I have more than one bike. Um, but I thought I would need to take a more conservative approach in case it didn't work out. So that's all I have. I hope you found this video uh, useful. Thanks for tuning in.